Hello all, welcome to Selenium Python training series. In this session, as part of Introduction to Selenium, I am going to explain the different components in Selenium. So I'm going to cover what in this session? The different, different components in Selenium. So why I'm saying different components in Selenium? So you may be thinking that you may be thinking that Selenium is a single tool, but in reality, Selenium is not a single tool, okay? It's not a single tool, guys. We generally speak about Selenium like it's a test automation tool, okay? It's one of the test automation tools available in the market, you generally say. But in reality, Selenium is not a single tool. Instead, it is a set of different tools or components, okay? Selenium is a set of tools you can say okay rather than saying it is a single tool we have to say selenium is a set of tools you can also call these tools as components okay so what tools or what different components will together form the selenium test automation tool there are four different components in selenium guys or four different tools which together form selenium test automation tool okay that is first one is selenium id guys okay the first component or tool in Selenium is Selenium ID. Then we have the next one as Selenium RC. Then we have Selenium web driver. And then we have the Selenium grid. These are the four components of Selenium. Or people may ask you like, uh, what are the different components in Selenium? You should answer them as Selenium ID, RC, web driver and grid are the different components in Selenium. And also uh, people may ask you like, uh, is Selenium a single tool? In, uh, immediately I would say that no. Selenium is not a single tool. Instead, it is a set of tools or components. Okay. These are the four ones. Now, let me explain each and every component for you in detail. Okay. So, introduction to Selenium, different components in Selenium. I already mentioned that Selenium is not a single tool. Instead, it is a combination of tools or a set of components or tools. Okay. So, what are those uh, uh, components or set of tools which together will form Selenium. The first one is Selenium ID, as I already mentioned here. First one is Selenium ID. Then we have Selenium RC, then WebDriver and Grid. Let me explain one by one for you. First, I'll start with Selenium ID, guys, okay? Selenium ID is a record and playback tool. Record and playback tool, okay? What is Selenium ID? The first component of Selenium, okay? The first or one of the components of Selenium or one of the tools of Selenium is Selenium ID, which is nothing but a record and playback tool. So here, using the Selenium ID, we can automate the test cases, automate the tests on the fly. Let's say you went to a birthday party of your friend, okay? While the birthday is going on, you have, you have taken your mobile phone, you turned on the camera in your mobile phone, okay? You went into the video mode, and started uh, recording the uh, happy moments in that, you know, uh, birthday party. So there you are simply recording the what's happening, the moments you are capturing in the form of video format. And later, after the birthday party is over, and again, all your uh, friends, after a long time, you know, uh, you have gathered at a place just, you know, to, you know, chit chat and all, then you simply, you know, open those videos and, you know, share with your friends, like, you know, uh, uh, we, we have enjoyed a lot in your birthday party. These are the visuals. Okay. This you, what you have to do, uh, when, uh, after a long time, uh, you just need to open your mobile phone, go to your gallery where the videos got recorded and saved in your mobile phone and simply play them. Right. So that is called play. So the similar way you record a video and play it later, the same way you can do automation. Okay. You don't have to write any programming code. You don't have to write any code to automate, okay? Though Selenium, we, in the coming sessions, I'm going to show you how to write the code to automate. But at this moment, we are talking about Selenium ID, which doesn't need you to write any code to automate. Simply, you can record the tests like recording a video and you can run the test like, okay, playing them, okay, playing the video. That is Selenium ID, guys. But who is going to use, okay? Is Selenium ID used in real time? Coming to the test automation, uh, like done by the uh, automation testers or software testers, they don't use Selenium ID in real time. Not much, very rare, okay? 
very rare and negligible, you can say. But uh, there is one kind of version saying that in the coming days, the future is like codeless automation, where people don't have to write any automation code. Maybe if uh, the codeless automation has uh, gone to that extent where the tools like Selenium ID or, you know, got improvised to that extent, there may be some situation where Selenium ID may become one of the major components in the coming days. But now I cannot say that, okay? At this moment, Selenium ID is one of the components in Selenium, but it's not the major one, okay? It's not really used that much in the market, but it has a you no know, possibility of becoming a major one in the coming days. We don't know. So that kind of tool is because uh, here, software testers or automation testers don't have to write any code, okay? But who is going to use at this uh, stage of the Selenium ID is the non-technical people who are not good with programming, right? Those people may use Selenium ID for this purpose, okay? The business team, the people who are non-technical, they don't know the different programming languages, how to write the code in a, a programming languages like Python, Java, etc., they may use Selenium ID for automating the application, guys. Okay. There may be some situations where uh, the application may be small or situations. On situation basis, also people may use Selenium ID uh, just to save their time. It all depends on situations, guys. But at this moment, I can say that most of the people are not using the Selenium ID in the market. Okay. It's not a major component of Selenium. I'll show you how the uh, how the how the testers or business team or anyone. Uh, can use Selenium ID, like they can record the test and rec they can play the test guys, okay? Like recording a video and playing the video, right? They can do that. Let me do this practical demonstration for you. It's not a major component guys. Uh, you don't have to learn it in depth, but I'm giving a kind of, you know, high level understanding of how a Selenium ID works, okay? Let me open the browser. So here already it is installed guys. The Selenium ID is already installed. Uh, I'll uninstall it guys. I'll show you from installation. How to install Selenium ID and all I'll show you and let me remove all this stuff. I'll install it from scratch. Okay, let me restart this browser once. Now we don't have any extension of Selenium ID. So how to use this Selenium ID, one of the components of Selenium for automating an application like recording a video and playing that video. So for that guys, I'll need to first install Selenium ID. I'll simply, uh, you know, go to the official website of Selenium that is selenium.dev and here, uh, you see Selenium web driver is there, Selenium ID is there, Selenium grid is there. I want to go with Selenium ID guys. Okay. This is what I'm currently explaining, right? One of the components in Selenium. Let me click on read more. Okay. The, when I say read more, you are taken to the Selenium ID page of, uh, okay. In, in this official website. And here you see, you can install this, uh, you know, Selenium ID in your Chrome or Firefox. Only two possibilities are there at this moment. Click on the Chrome download because my browser is Chrome and just clicking on Chrome download. When I say click on, uh, when I clicked on the Chrome download, it has taken me to the Chrome web store where I can see this Selenium ID. Okay. It is an extension or add on in the Chrome browser. Click on add to Chrome. In a while, the Selenium ID will get added or installed in your Chrome browser when you say add extension. Okay. Let's wait for the Selenium ID to get installed. The browser. Okay, almost done. Yes, it got installed. I'll select this and say manage plugins and manage extensions and say extensions and say pin it so that I can see that here and I can access easily here. Let me restart after installation. It's better to restart the browser after installing any add-on. Okay, it's a good practice you can see. Now I want to automate something. Okay, let me show you what I want to automate, but I don't want to write any automation code. Okay, so let's say I want to open this uh, tutorialsinja.com slash demo application. In this, I want to automate this particular test case of search functionality where I want to enter a valid product name into search box. So click on search button and I need to verify as part of that particular test, I want to verify whether proper product got displayed in the search result. That is HP related product because I'm searching for HP. HP related product should be displayed in search result. This is my test case. Okay. This is what I want to automate. Okay. This particular test case I want to automate guys. So what I will do here is what I will do here is I'll go to this application. Okay, I'll copy this URL. I'll copy this URL of the application. I'll click on the Selenium ID. I'll click on Selenium ID after installation. And here I'll simply say, uh, create a new project. Okay, create a new project. Just give a project name, guys. Okay, so I'll say Selenium Python, Selenium ID, Selenium ID demo. Demo project, very big name I'm giving. That's okay. 
just giving a big name say okay project name i gave now i want to record a test guys okay record a such functionality test i don't want to write any automation code guys okay without writing any code using any programming language okay in a codeless way i need to automate the particular test case okay so for that i'll just turn on the recording guys i'll just turn on the recording just click on the turn uh when i click on the recording button here like you record a uh, video in your mobile phone right uh from the camera app the same way in the selenium id there is a recording kind of option when you click on that it will ask you for the url that you want to record this is the url i already copied this url guys i'll paste it here and click on start recording the moment i say start recording the same application is opening let me maximize this browser window let me maximize this browser window so currently it is you see selenium id is recording if you can see here the bottom selenium id is recording is coming okay so whatever the actions you are going to do on this application are getting recorded guys okay so here i want to click inside the search box field okay recording recorded click is coming in the notification in the below i'll type hp here after i type hp here i'll click on the search button and now i went to the search results page i need to verify whether this hp product has been displayed i'll right click on this and say selenium id and say verify you don't have to understand all this stuff in detail but i have only one scenario i'm explaining just blindly follow guys present okay i'm verifying whether hp lp 365 product has been displayed in the search results okay with that option so this is all enough guys okay i have i am done with that let me switch back to the selenium id tool and you see all the steps here that you have performed now have been recorded here you see you have opened the application url tutorialsinja.com slash demo and uh, you have researched the browser window you have clicked on the name you have typed hp into the search box field then uh, you uh, you clicked on the search button uh then these are not required unnecessarily they got recorded you can delete them if you feel something unnecessary things are getting now recorded you can remove them now after clicking on the search button with this hp product you are checking whether this particular product got displayed in the search results okay verifying the element present now stop the recording when i stop the recording it's asking me to give the test name valid product search okay valid product search test here i'm not writing any automation code guys this is this tool is specially for the this tool from which is one of the components of selenium is specially for the non-technical people who doesn't know how to write the code okay where it uh, are not good at programming say okay the test got created here now how to perform the testing the automation of you see without writing the automation code the the test is automated already okay with the help of the selenium id record and playback features okay now recording feature of data selenium id now i want to uh, run this particular automated test okay already the test is created here i want to run that case what i will do is i'll click on this run current test option you see it is running selenium id is running my automation test it will type hp you click on the search button it will verify whether uh, this particular product got displayed you see all the things are come all the steps are coming in green color and here also tick mark came means this particular test got passed did i write any code no right okay simply record and run it run the test the automation is done but this this has some drawbacks guys selenium id has some drawbacks where maintenance if you have good number of tests right the maintenance is a headache if any steps changes again you have to go to individual tests and modify the steps here such kind of maintenance problems are there hence we still not recommend uh, selenium id or selenium id is not generally used nowadays in the market okay even though this kind of code testing is available, we are still not using it. Okay. People tend to use other component of Selenium that I'm going to cover later after the Selenium ID. So fine guys, uh, but there's one more interesting feature in this uh, Selenium ID guys, apart from recording and uh, running it, though we are not going to use it, we can use this particular Selenium ID for one purpose guys. Okay. That means uh, when you are writing the code and somehow you are not getting the results to to cross check where you are going wrong you can record this say actions that you are performing on the application that you want to automate uh, using selenium id and you generate the code you can generate the code guys so you are not writing the code selenium id can generate the code that has that it has used internally okay select the test and click on this three dots and say export uh, i want in python pytest okay selenium python pytest thing click on export guys the moment i say click on export it is asking me where you want to save the file. Let me save this file on my desktop. Save this. The file is getting saved on my desktop. Let me open this. Open this file. 
let's see how okay it is running actually when i say open so it got saved in my machine right uh, this is a file it got uh, saved right click on this and say open with uh i'll use another app like notepad plus plus or something notepad or not plus i'll use notepad normal notepad uh just once i'll say it will open you see it got opened right fine so so this is this code i have not written guys selenium as id has auto generated for us okay the selenium id has auto generated this code for us you don't have to dig deep into selenium id guys a lot of options are there in selenium id since we are not going to use this uh, tool in uh, real time this much of features are enough there this much of understanding of selenium id is more than enough where you know how to record the test using selenium id how to run it and if required how to generate the code that is internally used by selenium id uh, while recording or something that you can know. You see, all the Selenium Python code is coming here. Okay. So, this you can compare with whatever the code you have written in real time, and uh, you may find some mistakes. You may use this code uh, as a, you know, comparison code uh, to find your, figure out your mistakes. Fine, guys. All good so far. So, uh, that is what is all about Selenium ID, guys. It is a record and playback tool, which I have just now shown. It's not a major tool. Uh, you don't have to learn it much. Now coming to the next component or tool of uh, Selenium, out of the set of components or tools in Selenium, that is a uh, second one is Selenium RC guys. Do we have to learn Selenium RC now as per today's date and time? Not required. Why? Because if you go to the official website, you may be surprised that Selenium RC won't be there. Selenium RC is not there on the official website guys. Okay, if you go to this uh, uh, selenium.dev, which is the official website of Selenium, We'll see only three components here, Selenium WebDriver, Selenium ID, and Selenium Grid. Where is Selenium RC? It's not there because Selenium has already deprecated it. It's outdated already. Okay. When Selenium WebDriver came into the market, okay, long back when Selenium WebDriver came into the market, it has replaced Selenium RC. Okay. It has replaced Selenium RC, guys. Now, Selenium WebDriver is so sophisticated and uh, it has all the benefits uh, that people don't have to use Selenium RC anymore. Okay. So earlier guys, olden days, uh, like before 2010, I guess, uh, uh, during 2009, 10, right? At that area, okay, it started 2007. Selenium RC came into the market at around 2007. People are using already, okay? The, by 2007, they are already using full-fledgedly, even 2010 also. But uh, around two, after 2010, right, uh, innovation happened with Selenium WebDriver came into the market and uh, it has replaced Selenium RC. Earlier, Selenium RC used to, be, used to be the major component of Selenium, but nowadays, Selenium RC is already outdated. In place of that, Selenium WebDriver came, and Selenium WebDriver is a major component of Selenium now. Okay? Earlier, Selenium RC was a major component. Now, Selenium WebDriver is a major component. So, both Selenium RC and Selenium WebDriver need programming knowledge. Okay? You have to write the code, guys. Okay? You have to write the code. You have to write the Selenium automation code in uh, some Python or any other programming languages that are supported by Selenium, okay? So, but Selenium RC is outdated and Selenium WebDriver is the latest one you can see. So, do we have to learn Selenium RC? Not at all, okay? Single bit also you don't have to learn. It's very long back, it got deprecated. So, it's okay that you don't know about Selenium RC at all, okay? It's already got deprecated, guys. Selenium RC already got deprecated, okay? Long back when Selenium WebDriver came into the market. Now, the major component of Selenium that everyone uses, okay? When you speak about Selenium test automation tool, everyone will have the Selenium web driver in their mind, okay? So though there are different components in Selenium, all the components are just for the sake, guys, but Selenium web driver is nothing but Selenium major component that we are going to learn in the upcoming sessions in detail. We don't have to learn any other components in detail, guys, but we have to learn Selenium web driver in depth and in detail, okay? It is a major component of Selenium. It is a major one, major component of Selenium, guys, which needs programming knowledge. Okay, Selenium web driver. To use this Selenium web driver component, we need to have some programming knowledge. Don't worry. I am going to cover that programming knowledge that is required for using Selenium web driver or learning Selenium web driver in the upcoming sessions. You don't have to go here and there and you know learn all the stuff and come back here. All the things are will be covered in the upcoming sessions for you. This course will cover everything, okay? This playlist or this series, uh, um, 
okay this series will cover okay this uh, training series of selenium python will cover everything in the same course okay so don't have to go here and there okay it's a major one guys selenium web driver is a major one major component so how does it look like okay it is selenium web driver is a set of commands guys okay selenium web driver it's not like a, it's a not a ui based tool like selenium id uh, which are opening from the browser the uh, selenium web driver doesn't look doesn't have this kind of ui instead it's a library or you know uh like java is having a library like python is having a library since uh, selenium web driver also has library which is nothing but a set of commands nothing nothing but set of predefined uh, inbuilt functions or methods you can say okay so those we are going to use for aut automation purpose each and every command in selenium web driver has meaning you don't have to learn all the stuff now guys we are just in the introduction part i'm going to cover all the selenium web driver for you in detail in upcoming sessions because this is a major component of selenium okay so but i'll show you some example code of uh, selenium web driver which needs programming language so for that uh, let me open the pycharm id here for you let me open the pycharm id here where i already have written some selenium code you don't have to understand the code but just for the example case i'm showing you that code in the upcoming sessions uh, i'll cover all the predict sets and then we'll go for a selenium web driver okay till we just uh, follow this session at a high level guys don't go and drive deep and uh, find out which command what and all don't get confused a lot if you are very new to programming or very new to this selenium python don't worry about what i am trying to show here this is only for you know uh, just for uh, giving a heads up like this how we have we have to write the code in the upcoming sessions okay this is what we are going to learn in the upcoming sessions this is how the code will look like guys this is how the code will look like you see uh, these are all the different uh, things that are coming from Selenium library, okay? Selenium web driver, okay? So all belong to Selenium web driver, guys, okay? If, 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 to open the Chrome browser, we are using this one. You don't have to know that now, but I'm just explaining. This command uh, or in, inbuilt function of Selenium Python will uh, will maximize the browser window. That is a Chrome browser or whatever the browser window, it will maximize. This command, get command of Selenium Python, okay? From the This is from Selenium library, guys, Selenium web driver library, okay? For this, we are passing the URL. So it will open the application URL in the browser. Like that, okay? So many other operations are there and some Python code is also in mixed here. It is a combination of Selenium commands and Python code, guys, okay? So this is nothing but Selenium web driver, guys. You see, we can see web driver here. This is Selenium web driver. This is how it is going to look like. Though we say Selenium web driver is one of the component or tools, it's not a really a tool, guys. It's a library, you can say, which contains a lot of uh, inbuilt functions and other stuff which need to be used with uh, programming languages like Python or Java, etc., uh, to create the automation scripts, okay? But this is a major one that we are going to learn in depth in the upcoming sessions, okay? Don't worry if you have not understood anything, just follow me at a high level. The last component of uh, uh, Selenium or last tool in Selenium, which forms a Selenium tool, okay? That is Selenium Grid, guys, okay? This Selenium Grid need to be used along with Selenium Web Driver. It's not a separate one. It's not a separate one. Yes, Selenium ID is a separate one, Selenium ID is a separate one, web driver is a separate one, but Selenium Grid is not a separate one. It's a part, uh, it's, it works along with web driver guys, okay? Selenium Grid works along with web driver guys. It's not a separate entity, okay? So when you are working with Selenium web driver, you have to configure, it's a configuration you can say. It's a, uh, it's a, not a separate thing. It's a com, uh, it's a configuration in Selenium web driver. We have to write some commands from Selenium Grid to make that possible in Selenium web driver. So we use Selenium Web Driver and Grid together if required. Okay. Sometimes we we will not use Selenium Grid. We only use Selenium Web Driver. But in some cases, uh, due to some requirements, we have to use both Web Driver and Web Driver along with Grid. We have to use okay combination of Web Driver and Grid. We have to use used along with Selenium Web Driver. Guys, for what purpose Selenium Grid is used? I'm not going to cover the Selenium Grid in this session at a uh, depth. Rather, I'm going to cover that at a high level. Let me explain what is Selenium Grid means. So only Selenium web driver means what happens is, let's say this is your laptop. And if you are uh, writing your automation scripts in Selenium web driver, running them, okay, your scripts will only run in your machine only. In this single laptop only, the scripts will run. Let's say there are 1000 automation tests and each and every automation test takes five minutes to run. So how much time does it take? 5000 minutes it will take that is a very huge time so to overcome this problem to uh, run the automation scripts in less time there is some solution invented that is instead of having a single laptop okay with the help of selenium grid we can connect multiple laptops 
okay in our company or whatever it is over the lan and all we can uh, connect multiple machines like this okay and connect them over the lan and we run the selenium automation scripts here and what happens is uh, we will also configure selenium web driver with selenium grid here and if the selenium grid is also there what the selenium grid does is it will distribute this automation tests into multiple machines over the network instead of running all the automation scripts in a single machine selenium grid will distribute this automation scripts into multiple machines and later after distribution uh, along with this distribution we can also apply parallel execution okay parallel execution okay so if you apply the parallel execution uh, along with the selenium grid will distribute the automation tests into multiple machines and uh, if you combine the selenium grid thing with parallel execution then what happens is all the scripts will run parallelly while one automation test is running in one of the machine simultaneously another ma another machine another uh, okay script is running so here five automation tests are running that means each and every automation test instead earlier it used to take five minutes now it is taking only one minute like that okay ideally that means thousand automation tests will take thousand min minutes what is the advantage here time is reduced you see instead of five thousand minutes it is only taking instead of five days let's assume it is taking only one day okay five five days thing can be completed in a single day okay so even uh, only parallel execution doesn't make sense okay uh, only parallel execution means what i mean to say is if there is only one laptop and in that if you enable the parallel execution okay in multiple browsers uh, multiple browser instances will open the same laptop that will degrade the performance of this laptop guys okay so in your laptop also you can enable the parallel execution okay as part of selenium python automation testing you can uh, even though you have a single laptop you can enable the parallel execution guys okay but the problem is the performance of the machine will go down okay the more browsers will open means automatically they will run slow and uh, they will get executed slow and performance of the laptop will get degraded and uh, you may get more delayed res uh, results actually okay more than 5000 minutes it will take at that time but if you selenium grid okay what selenium grid mainly does is all the automation tests it will distribute into multiple machines like this and run each and every test uh, one one test uh, in the multiple machines parallelly okay it will not make it parallel but selenium grid will distribute okay selenium grid is known for distribution right? only distribution on the top of this distribution you apply the general parallel execution how general parallel execution need to be made i'll cover that later guys so don't worry about that now okay selenium grid uh, with the help of parallel execution you know uh it doesn't have the parallel execution capability but it will distribute the test across multiple machines but uh parallel execution can be applied to selenium grid thing okay externally and uh, the scripts will run parallelly okay distributed scripts by selenium grid on these machines will run parallelly and we'll get the results okay but selenium grid need to be used with what selenium web driver component only okay we cannot use this as a separate thing we have to use the selenium grid with selenium web driver then only it is going to work so guys that is all at the high level if you don't understand also that's fine guys okay all these components if you don't understand also is fine but high level understanding is enough guys okay so but i covered in depth but high level understanding is enough in this session at least okay so we are going to see all these things in detail in the upcoming sessions mainly the selenium web driver we are going to uh, dig in deep in the coming sessions so that's all for this session guys uh, so is selenium a single tool no yeah. what are the different components then or tools in selenium selenium is a set of four tools or components that is selenium id rc selenium web driver and selenium grid okay so and all you know about okay all the components you know know about so these are the different components in selenium so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another topic from introduction to selenium category till then see you bye bye